Let's begin, as always, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of his Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we prepare to celebrate and to enter into these sacred mysteries, let's pause for a moment, call to mind all of our sins, and ask the Lord for his mercy, his healing, and his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for each one of us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray, O God, who in the abasement of your Son Jesus has raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful people with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from the slavery of sin, you will bestow eternal gladness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant his fruit, the more altars he built. The more productive his land, the more sacred pillars he set up. Their heart is false. Now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. If they would say, we have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the waters. The high places of Avon shall be destroyed, the sin of Israel. Thorns and thistles shall overgrow their altars. Then they shall cry out to the mountains, Cover us! And to the hills, Fall upon us! Sow for yourselves justice, Reap the fruit of piety, Break up yourselves for a new field, For it is time to seek the Lord, Till he come and rain down justice upon you. The word of the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. Seek always the face of the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Seek always the face of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and he gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the 12 apostles are these, first Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James the son of Zebedee and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. The responsorial psalm tells us to recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought. And really, memory is something we take for granted. But uh, in a flash, right now, we can go back in time. We can go back to our childhood. We can, we're maybe with our mother in a church like this. We can go back in an instant to our house. We can go back to the kitchen table and we can see our mother's face. We can not only see her face, we can hear her laughter we can smell the house. We can smell what she's cooking. We can smell the lasagna or the roast beef. Really a miracle, the gift of memory. We can go back in time, powerful. And then you start to think, where did all that time go? I mean, that was 50, 60, 70 years ago, like a blink of an eye. Where did all that time go? Time is really a mystery. Scripture tells us that a thousand years in your sight, O oh Lord, are like yesterday, come and gone. You sweep men away like a dream. Time is truly a mysterious thing. And God's time and our time are two different things, you know. The ancient Greeks in their great wisdom had two words for time. There was human time, which we know as chronological time, days, hours, minutes, weeks, months, years. And then there was kairos, which was God's time, the appointed time. And, uh, you know, it's funny because now we're so busy, we can become busy going nowhere, and we can lose what's most important. We can forget about the most important thing, how to spend our time. You know, the researchers tell us that on average, the average human being is going to live 79 years. Now, some people more, other people less, but the average human being is going to live 79 years, 28,835 hours to be exact. And we're going to spend 26 years, almost a third of our lives, sleeping. And we're going to spend about 13 years, roughly, working. We're going to spend, on average, about eight and a half years watching television, four and a half years eating. 11 years and four months with screen time, three years on social media, 
three years on vacation and holidays, but only one year and four months exercising, and uh, another year socializing. Now, of course, there's other activities that aren't mentioned here, and there's other hours and years we're going to spend doing other things because everyone's different. But on average, approximately, when we tally them all up, after spending all that time on work, sleeping, eating, socializing, television, social media, and screen time, and all the rest, it leaves us approximately with eight, uh, eight years left over. So the question is, what are we going to do with those eight years? We got those eight years to ourselves. What? What are we going to do with those eight years that we have left? Well, we should get ready. We should prepare. Because as Jesus reminds us, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Together we'll stand and turn to God, turn to Jesus Christ, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Let's turn to him with all our needs. We pray for all you and your families that you be protected from all illness and viruses, all evil. And let us pray to the Lord. We pray for your departed loved ones, that you will be reunited one day at the end of time with them forever inside the gates of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. And now we pause for those intentions that each one of you, each one of you holds in the silence of your hearts. We lift them up to the Queen of Heaven, the beautiful Mother of God, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We ask all these prayers in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. Become for us the bread of life. the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, 
For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. Become for us our spiritual drink. Oh God, we ask you to receive us, be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me of all of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your holy name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always, everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the beautiful Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you our holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. So now, with all the angels and archangels, with all the martyrs and the saints, with all the powers and hosts of heaven, we declare in one voice the song of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, 
the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, Lord, in a special way, your faithful servant, John Panic, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that John Panek, who was united with your son Jesus in a death like his, that John may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And there is no temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all worry and fear and anxiety and distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace is my gift to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. The act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And just as a friendly reminder, the Diocese of Venice, uh, we ask you all to wear your masks uh, as you approach communion and uh, for your own safety.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise and thank you through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless all of you and all your loved ones, living and deceased, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Go in peace.